Test taking tricks using the graphing calculator, part 4, finding solutions. Now these problems may seem difficult to you, but don't be like this guy, you don't need to pull your hair out. Remember that our test writers have given us a gift, they've given us the answers, and so with those answers you'll be able to find the right one and get a great score on your tests. Let's look at our first problem. We have if x comma negative 3.2 is solution of the equation 4x equals 5y minus 17, what is the value of x? Well, the value they give us is negative 3.2, which we store for y. And after we do that, we enter this expression on the right side, 5y minus 17, and we find that it gives us a value of negative 33. So we need to find the value of x such that four of those x's equals negative 33. And so we start with choice f, 0.84 storage x and then we enter 4x after we do that we get 3.36 which is not negative 33 so we cross that as incorrect we go the same process for choice G 0.25 storage x and enter 4x we get 1 which is not negative 33 cross that out incorrect choice H negative 5.96 storage x then 4x, we get negative 23.8. Not, it's not negative 33. Cross that out. So, just by the process of elimination, we know that J is the right answer. We go ahead, conscientious students that we are, and enter that anyway, and we get negative 33. And so we know definitively that J is the right answer. We go to our second problem today. What are the roots of quadratic equation x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0? So we go ahead and if we graph it in y equals, we get sort of a lot of traffic around the, the x-axis. We're going to go ahead and use our test taking tricks. And we press negative 2 storage x. Then we enter this expression x squared minus 3x plus 2 below and, and enter that. And we get 12, which is not 0. So we know that a is not a right answer. And we also know that one of the roots of b is also negative 2, so we know that Based on that logic, B can't be right either. So now we go ahead and examine choice C, and we put in negative 1 storage x, and then we enter x squared minus 3x plus 2, and we get 6, which is not 0, so we know that C is not right either. So D is going to be our right answer, but conscientious students that we are, we go ahead and store 2 for x, and check out this expression, and we find that it equals 0. And we do the same thing with 1, see that equals 0 also, so we know D is the correct answer. Now let's look at our next problem. In the equation y equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 18, which is the value of x when y equals 0? So I'd like you to try this one yourself. Stop the video, store in the answers for multiple choice, then enter 2x squared minus 5x minus 18, repeat the process until you get 0. All right, I went ahead and eliminated choices A, B, and C. If you look at choice D, I entered 4 plus 1 half, then stored that to x, and then what I did next was enter 2x squared minus 5x minus 18, found that it was equal to 0, and then we go ahead and circle that as a correct answer. Hope you got that right. Now our next problem, what are the x-intercepts of the graph of the equation y equals x squared plus x minus 12? Again, I'd like you to go ahead and stop the video. Remember the x-intercept is a for 0, also for roots and solutions as well. Okay, the first thing I did was eliminate choices A and D. And so now we're down to choice B, and I entered 3 and stored that and then entered x squared plus x minus 12 found it equal to 0 and then I went ahead and entered negative 4 stored negative 4 to x and entered x squared plus x minus 12 found that to be equal to 0 also and so B is our correct answer. Now we have our next problem. Solve the equation 2a minus 6 plus 5a equals 3a plus 10 and it says to solve it for a. Now this is one that you might notice does not have multiple, uh, mul it's not a multiple choice question. It asks you to actually find a numerical answer. 
but this is one that's really easy to do and also is a, a great candidate for a test taking trick that I want to show you now. What you do is with a problem like this where you have uh, you have variables on both sides, you need to combine like terms and and you need to move variables and numbers around to get it right. This is a great candidate. The first thing I would do in this case is enter the left side of the equation into y1. And in our y equals view, the calculator does not recognize a as a variable. It doesn't recognize anything but x. And so instead of entering 2a minus 6 plus 5a, you need to enter 2x minus 6 plus 5x. And then we need to enter the right side of the equation, 3a plus 10, into y2. And again, instead of entering 3a plus 10, we enter 3x plus 10. And now we go ahead and solve this by pressing second, trace, 5. And after we press 5, we need to go ahead and wait long enough for the graphs to show up. And even though we don't see an intersection point, we can see if we, if we go ahead and estimate above, there's an intersection point above. So we press enter, 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 and shows us that x equals 4, y equals 22. But we're interested in x equals 4 because remember that represents a. And now that we have this, we can go ahead and check it by storing 4 to a and entering the left side of the equation 2a minus 6 plus 5a equals 22. And then we enter 3a plus 10 and also equals 22. Therefore, we know that 4 is the right answer. Now we're going to take a little time filling in the answer sheet. This is a griddable answer portion of the answer sheet. And we need to enter our correct answer 4. We need to enter it to the left of the decimal point since it's an integer. And then we need to pencil in the 4 inside the circle there in our number 2 lead pencil. We need to be careful to mark our integer number to the left of the decimal point. Because if we enter it to the very right side, like I see a lot of students do, the uh, machine will see that answer is 0 .004. Okay, the 4, that would be what, four thousands. We need to put in an answer of four, so that's the way we do it. Okay, let's look at this next problem. Again, this is just like the last one, and I'll let you go ahead and stop the video and try this yourself. Okay, here it is. We enter in y1, the left side of the equation, 2x minus 3. Then in y2, the right side equation, 3x minus 7. And we press second trace 5. Enter, enter, enter. We get x equals 4. And so we circle that as our correct answer. And that's what it is. All right, next problem. What is the solution set for the equation 4 times quantity 3x minus 2? And that is squared equals 36. So I'd like you to go ahead and stop the video, solve this one, and then start again to see if you, if you got it right. Alright, this is the same process we did earlier. What I did was I eliminated choices A and B, and now we're down to choice C. I entered negative one-third stored to X, then entered this expression below, and got 36. And so negative one-third checks out. I went ahead and entered five-thirds, stored five-thirds to x, and saw that this one also checked out. So we know that c is the correct answer. Hope that you've enjoyed these videos. Uh, you need to be sure to use these, use these test-taking tricks. If not, to get the answer right in the first place, to at least check the work. And if you do this and just incrementally improve a little bit, you can improve your prospects and test taking greatly. Good luck.